Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I hope everyone is staying safe. I hope everyone's doing okay. Um, and I hope everyone's just surviving. Like, I mean, my kids are, um, you want to drive me crazy. Sitting down doing homework with them every day is just, I'm a teacher now. I'm a mom, I'm a teacher, I'm a painter, you know. <laughs> Anywho, so tonight's pour is going to be a triptych. Um, back in December, about the beginning of December or so, I had done a triptych using um, purples, orange, and yellow. Um, and it was a beautiful piece and uh, I wanna try the same thing again. However, switch it up just a bit. So instead of using the yellow, I'm going to substitute it with the beautiful 24 karat gold that I love using so much with the uh, deco art. And then now that I have some of the new golden paints, like the um, quinacridone magenta and the dioxazine purple, I'd like to give those colors a try. And back in the day, I used to flood the canvas with the white um, and then flood the colors with the white, you know, blow the white over. And now that I don't do that anymore, I thought I'd give this color palette another shot and see how it would turn out and see if the colors are more vibrant and more bold. So let's give it a go. I'll bring you guys down on the canvas and we'll get started. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, before I forget, I totally forgot to do this before, but I wanted to show you guys the dried results of my second attempt of my pour and it dried beautifully. So clearly the level one canvas I had used prior was, it was a really old canvas. There's nothing wrong with level one canvases. I've used them many, many times before, um, but that one was so old and probably just warped over time and I just probably didn't notice, but this one dried so nice, so beautiful. Look at that, I love the blue. The blue that is in here is really gorgeous as well. So this piece still needs um, two coats of the gloss varnish, and once it's ready, it will be available for purchase. If anyone is interested in purchasing this, it's a 16 by 20. You can email me at canelosoraco at gmail.com. Okay, so the colors I'm going to use tonight are Azo Orange or Azo by Amsterdam. Then I'm using Prism Violet by Liquitex Basics, followed by the 24 karat gold by Deco Art. Uh, and then I'm using the Quinacridone Magenta by Golden. And on top, the Dioxazine Purple also by golden okay so those are the colors i'm using i have my triptych here and as you can see i've kind of changed up the canvases a little bit um, they're not all the same size uh, the ones on the outer parts um, that is a 9 by 12 inch canvas and the center canvas is a um, an 11 by 14 inch canvas all right got some fluff there all right, so I've already gone ahead and put down my white, obviously, because I just torched. Um, and if you, let me just put the lid on this. I use this Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylic White. I get it from Michaels. Um, this bottle was empty, so I filled it up. I put Dutch Pour White, and it's white paint, flow trawl, and water. You can see how I mix this along with my bottles in video number 63 up at the top. I will link it there for you guys all to see. Okay, so let's get started. We will start with the orange. So um, like I said, back in December, when I did this pour, I had all three same canvases. I think they were all 10 by 10. I went across all the way and I flooded the colors with white. So this time around, I've changed the colors up just a bit and I've changed the size of the canvases and I'm gonna do bigger squiggly lines instead. So let's start with that and see how this ends up. We will do something funky like that. All right, and while I'm doing this, I want to say thank you to William, Martha, Krista, and Donna for your PayPal donations. Thank you so much, you guys. 
Um, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. It means a lot to me. Um, it really helps. So thank you. And if anyone else would like to donate to my channel, you can do so using the PayPal link listed in the description below, along with everything else listed in the description below the video. Okay. I did that wrong. I was, well, at least I was going to do the, uh, yeah, I totally did that wrong. I was supposed to go this way, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I didn't want the gold on the top, so that's all that matters. I guess it doesn't really matter now anyway. It's kind of too late to do anything else. All right. I wanted the dioxazine purple on top, but that's okay. Prism violet also works on the top. So we will do that. All righty. Well... I'm not flooding, so let's see how this is going to turn out. Let's put this in here for now. And oh, let me torch my bubbles first. I've got paint everywhere. Alrighty. Okay. Got some fluff and some more fluff. Gone. Okay. Let's get the. Uh, Hair dryer, make sure my attachment is on good because we all know what happened that one time. I need to redo this and I always forget, but no time now. Time to blow the paint. All right. So let's start. Um, oh, Juno hair. Good thing I saw that. Let me get that out. Got it. Oh, Juno loves me. He follows me everywhere. Okay, so let's start with. I think I'm going to. Hmm. It's always tricky to figure out how I'm going to blow this thing. Uh, I'll blow. All right, just go for it and see what happens. This way, this way, this way. Th yeah, whatever. Let's see. Okay, let's go. It, it's so rich in color. I can't even tell you. Like, I mean, it is extremely rich in color. I love it. And the cells that are forming are insane. Now, the problem here is, here, I'll show you. You see that? That's got to get fixed. It's got to get wiped out. And it's got to get put, uh, I've got to put white on there. But... In the meantime, wow, it's so pretty. Wow, what a difference from the first original, which I will link here at the top. I'll link it here at the top so you can see the original, but wanted to blow that over the edge. It's so pretty. So yeah, I'm totally gonna have to work on these. See this? That's a no-no, complete and utter no-no. You cannot leave that like that, just can't, cannot. So the problem here is, is no matchy-matchy. You see that? But what happens if I go like this? Still no matchy-matchy, but it's a little better because there's a little white to white, although I'm sure that'll fall off eventually. This matches very, very nicely. Totally, totally matches. So I'm going to keep that like that. I might bring this one back around. Let me bring it back around anyway, and uh, I'll see what I can do with it. But in the meantime, I am... Oh! Just drop some paint on the floor. Okay, let me put this back for a sec. 
So you know what I think I'm gonna do? I am going to um, blow this to kind of bring it up to this a little bit. Um, this I'm not gonna touch. I'm just, it's, it's beautiful. I cannot believe this. Um, and this I'm gonna leave as well. I doesn't need to match, but this one I definitely wanna bring it up a little closer up here. So let's do that real quick. Ooh, that's the quinacridone magenta. It's so pretty. There, that's all I wanted to do. Um, just so that it's close together here. And maybe I might do it here as well. There, that's it. I'm not gonna touch any more aside from fixing the sides in the center here, which I will do off camera because you don't need to see that. Blow that over the edge so that it can drip down the edge. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys for a close up, but before I do that, I'm gonna stop recording, I'm gonna pull them apart and I will clean the sides. That way I can show you guys what it really should look like. So I will be right back and I'll bring you guys in for a close up. Alrighty guys, so here is the final piece and I'll bring you guys in for a close up and then I will show you guys the sides. So I'm super thrilled with how vibrant these colors are. When this thing dries, it's going to look gorgeous with that gloss varnish. So here's how I like that it's kind of matching there and it's just and i didn't torch any of this so i did not torch any part of this after i was done blowing it and it's gorgeous i'm so happy with it i'm loving i like that i swapped out the yellow for the 24 karat gold um, and it's so rich i'm loving these colors so now let me carefully pull this apart like so and I want to show you see there you go so you really need to get a paper towel and wipe it off and then paint it white again throw your white on there again right and so let's check this one out here my finger slipped so same with this side Okay, so as you can see, I cleaned it off over here and then I just added more paint because I'm telling you, it will show through the white. If you just add white on top of the colored paint, it will dry and you will see that paint come through the white. So you definitely don't want that. All right. So there it is, guys. I hope you liked it. I'm not even going to bother to put them back together right now. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, please uh, subscribe to my channel. If you are watching and have not subscribed, please hit that red subscription button. I would really appreciate it. And the notification bell. Uh, that way you will know when I will be doing another video. Um, I'm thinking of doing a live auction. If you are interested in a live auction, please also let me know in the comments. Uh, I think it's time to sell some more pieces that I have been piling up. Um, so let me know in the comments if you want to see a live auction very, very soon. Because, hey, we all have time now, right? So we might as well. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Juno's YouTube channel. Uh, Juno the Husky and please subscribe to his channel too. I would appreciate it. So that's it for now guys Thank you so very much for watching. Have a good day. Oh, and if you're interested in purchasing these, please email me um, And that's it. Have a good day. Have a good night, and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye